Welcome to Medical Apps PDS Express short concept discussion. So in today's class, we'll be discussing the types of CEJ, so specifically the types of CEJ. So before starting, let me tell you that if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that whenever we post any new videos, you'll automatically get updated, be it short concept discussion, be it any quiz discussion or any question discussion, right? So what is CEJ? We all know that a CEJ is cemento enamel junction. So eventually where uh, cementum meets the enamel, this portion is known as cemento enamel junction. By the name itself, it is clear, right? So this is the root, this is the crown and this region is the cemento enamel junction. So this is your CEJ. This is the clinical crown, this is the root and in root 2 they have subdivided cervical root, middle root and the apical one third of the root and this is the cemento enamel junction. Now cemento enamel junction it is not like always end to end that like enamel it is ending here and cementum it is ending. It's not always like end to end. So instead three varieties exist. So first is the overlapping one where this is the enamel and see the cementum it is overlapping the part of enamel. So this is the overlapping type of CEJ. So it exists in around 60 to 65 percent of the cases and cementum overlaps the enamel. So this is the first variety. Now uh, let me tell you that why we are discussing this because short notes not exactly short note if short note is asked on CEJ you need to mention each and everything the formation and everything of the CEJ but if uh, they have asked like in your MCQ for NEET PG and uh, sorry NEET PG and for your VIVAS that time this thing could be asked like examiner can ask you how many types of CEJ is there so you should not be blank at that moment that uh, I don't even know that there are types of CEJ too. So yes, there are three types of CEJ. So first is the overlapping. Then second is the, in about 30% of the cases, it is end to end relationship. Like enamel, it is ending here and cementum, it is also ending here. So this is edge to edge or you can see end to end relationship. Then in around 5 to 10% of the cases, cementum and enamel fail to meet. So there is a gap. So this is the most common variety, the overlapping one. Then second is the edge to edge relation or end to end relation. And third is the gap. So here the sensitivity is also increased in such cases. So if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that whenever we post any new videos, you'll automatically get updated. And apart from this, we are also posting updates on whatsapp groups and you can just directly press this link www.medicoapps.org slash groups and let me tell you that we have limited access to these groups so please uh, be the first one to join these groups here we are just posting updates related to your year if you're a first year student we are just posting content related to your first year that is like human anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and dental anatomy. If you're a second year student, we'll be providing updates related to second year and so on, like third year, final year. In terms, we are just posting the clinical things and the important, uh, like to brush up your knowledge. So all these things are there. And again, this topic, the types of CEJ, it is important for your VIVAS and for your NEET PG examination. Hope you have liked the session. Thank you.